stood in Jerusalem this man that I saw in the vision the man that came out of a vision please hear me <clears throat> I was standing in my garden suddenly the spirit came and removed from my eyes scales I was praying for America and I was praying for Israel nothing unusual and suddenly behind me starting behind my back going in the form of an arrow for hundreds of thousands of people and I turned around and I was stunned at what I saw this was not just a mere dream but this was a vision and so I raised my hand like this and every one of them raised their hands I looked back and they were doing the same thing I shouted and they all shouted they were one they were one one party one party of people it continued until I realized that the unity of these amongst them stood one that God had set aside to be the leader of this nation I said why am I hearing this so soon surely you would show me a little bit of it closer to the time and the Spirit of God said to me this man has a humble stature but he is a genius and then I heard gold I wasn't sure if this was attached to his name but he said to me he will restore the fortunes in this nation Bef because of his brilliance I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them and the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said this man will throttle the enemies of Israel this man will throttle the enemies of the West and there are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many many politicians in this nation there will be a shaking amongst there will be a shaking amongst the de Democrats in the upcoming elections but unsettling for the Republicans why is why is God doing this for God said I am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties and then there is a nation he showed me and took me itching for a new kind of war with America they will shout impeach impeach they say but nay this nation shall come very subtly but he shall not come in the time of President Obama they shall come when this new one arises my David that I have set aside for this nation a man of prayer a man of choice words not a man who is verbose who has verbosity who speaks too much they will even say this man is not speaking enough but God says I have set him aside they will shout impeach impeach but this shall not happen and then God says highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises and people will become very afraid they'll say we have no protection and then God says am I impressed with your weapons of war 
Am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs? Ha! I have said I will bring this nation to its knees. And God said you have been humbled. And yet some more. And then you shall hear the sounds of great victory. For where are the people gathered? Where are my people gathered? Where is the sound of unity from my people? I want just this crowd here and all the thousands watching all over the world. Just do me a favor. Just for about 30 seconds, raise up your voice and shout. Come on! next week this man shall begin to emerge Come on. and in the following two weeks which is a three week period he shall slowly come to the fore for they are saying how do we kill the giant how do we kill the giant of death how do we kill the giant of socialism how do we kill the giant of human secularism I have placed that man amongst you a humble man and as Samuel stood before the brothers and they had rejected David to come because of his age take all these little little remarks I'm giving you they are gems the name and the word gold remember that a man that is amongst them but is young and God says these that shall reject him shall be shocked at how he takes the giant down now hear me please the giant of death the giant the giants that have come the brothers of Goliath Stand in glee watching America. We will cripple you. You will lose your credit. But God said, watch. I said 20,000. Look not to Wall Street. However, observe. And they shall say, what is your plan for this, this giant? And he will take a simple stone. Remember the name. And he will hold it up and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant, says the Lord. It could only have been given by me. <laughs> Come on! Elijah. Come on. Now I have said, go back. For this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. Spirit of God says...